This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of July 19th, 2021. We're getting a shift in the way things feel this week. It's been a little softer, slower, more gentle, easier with planets in Cancer in the last week or two. This week is much more active. It's not the frenzy that we experienced in May and June, but it's definitely more active than what we've had since the Cancer New Moon. And some of the activity might actually be a bit irritating to you because the general flow of the week has us periodically having to stop and adjust or readjust or tweak or empty our shoe out to find out what the piece of gravel is that's been bugging us that we can't just shake away. This is a month of adjustments and easily a third of the adjustment aspects of the entire month happen this week. You may find yourself having to maneuver out of some fog or confusion or delusion. You may find yourself adjusting the way you're going about something because of a creative or intuitive insight that hits you. You might find yourself having to sidestep something kind of scary in the middle of the road or jumping up from under the bed at night. Definitely we will have choices in how we express our power, whether we are assertive or aggressive, and sometimes The biggest display of power is recognizing that you have it and not crushing someone with it. There will probably be some tweaks in relationships, likely dealing with something in a different way than you have before. One of those I have evolved moments, helped along by a flash of insight and epiphany, your mind opening to something, seeing things in a way you hadn't seen them before, Very probably a window opening to a conversation that clears the air about something. Oddly, I don't see much room for compromise in this because there are a number of influences encouraging us to blow ourselves up bigger and bigger and bigger and grander and not settle. That's kind of inconsistent with compromising. Yet, instead of compromising, there is a probability of a higher level of understanding of things, of grasping the bigger picture behind why some things have happened, grasping the bigger picture in what other people have been going through. Nice, beautiful streak of nonverbal communication, simply grokking situations or perhaps giving our conscious minds over to a way of perceiving things, a way of understanding that is not logical, which could be really useful for one of the big confrontational aspects of the week, which could be really useful when issues of scary secrets, big monsters, hidden truths, a demand for candor, but maybe not being quite in the place for the words to come. The concepts, the understanding, the energy may be there, but unlikely the actual conversations will be happening on the big, heavy, dark, scary stuff. Information will fall in our path. Information will be all over the collective news. But our response may be just to look at it, maybe a bit of deer in the headlights, maybe a bit of suddenly understanding without words the big picture. The three big astro events that I want to point out to you are on the 21st, our social mode shifting from sparkly, warm, gregarious, look at me, Leo, to more Earth Mother fuss budgety, I can make this better, Virgo. Venus moves into Virgo on the 21st. She stays there until the middle of August. Now, some astrologers will tell you that this is not a happy place for Venus. 
honestly, I see Earth Mother energy here. In Virgo, Venus takes on discernment and a bent for improving, for making things more efficient, for cleaning things up, for treating life and sometimes other people as improvement projects. You might encounter more fault finding. You might encounter more pickiness. But you can look at it as being discriminating. Definitely you will be. Venus and Leo caused an upsurge in socializing, getting together, running around. Venus and Virgo brings us back to real selectivity. Doesn't mean we won't be doing things with people, but it gives a purposefulness and a discrimination. We'll still be feeling Leo energy, even though Venus has moved into Virgo. For one thing, Mars is still there. He doesn't move into Virgo until the 29th. And for another, the sun moves into that sign for its annual month on the 23rd. This happens just before we have a full moon in the friend zone, Aquarius, on the 23rd. Now, a full moon in an air sign is always a kind of interesting energy because you think of a moon as being emotional and a full moon causing emotions to crest and a full moon in Aquarius, very intellectual, very objective, very detached, very friend-focused. You might have an experience that's like sitting in the branch of the trees looking down at what everyone is doing around you. So there's a distancing, there's a detachment, there's an observation feeling to it. So you'll have a chance at the Aquarius full moon to see how your systems are doing, what your network of friends are doing, how supportive they are. And Venus at the beginning in Virgo is in one of those pebble in your shoe relationships with the sun and the moon so there could be a niggling 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 deal with something deal with something uh, I don't want to deal with this deal with something deal with something that's involved in whatever the cresting of the full moon energies end up bringing in your life so here are your big markers for the week against the backdrop of I'm going down the street. Oops, got to turn this way. Oops, got to change. Oops, got to do this. Oops, got to shake my shoe out. Oops, got to change this way. Against that backdrop, we have on the 20th, the possibility of an opening for a conversation, a piece of information coming to us that ends up being really useful, an epiphany, that's Mercury sextiling Uranus, on the 21st, Venus enters the sign of Virgo, and everyone suddenly gets really interested in cleanliness. Yes, laugh at me. Uh, and we all become particular in a way that we haven't been lately, particular and discriminating. Around the 22nd, the impulses to indulge get bigger and bigger and bigger, but they probably will not be satisfied with Venus in opposition to Jupiter, on the 23rd, the sun moves into Leo and immediately opposes the moon in the full moon in Aquarius. There is a big element of the potential of excess also in this one with the sun in an adjustment aspect to Jupiter. On the 24th, Mercury and Neptune are in a trine which opens the floodgates for inspiration spiritual insights, creativity, understanding, feeling inexplicably happy and fine despite what surface events may be saying, understanding things without getting at them through your mind. On the 25th, Mercury then staring down Pluto, Mercury-Pluto opposition, seeing something, probably not being able to resolve it, that is big, deep, restructuring, scary, profound, possibly life-changing, but it not coming to fruition in that moment. Although, it's possible that what we see kicks us into action because Mercury and Mars, how we use our drive, are in one of the gravel-in-the-shoe aspects that day. Good thing you rested up recently, right? Homing thought of the week. I'm not being picky. I'm being discriminating. 
Song of the Week, Chasing Pavements by Adele. And the image of the week is a group of friends going to the beach and picking garbage out of the sand. You'll learn more about all this in my forecast for the Aquarius full moon, which will be up at my site by the 22nd. And the address is empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years experience. Listen to Celestial Compass, my astrology program on Ohm Times Radio on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern, and that would be this week. I'm talking to Dr. Victoria Skirbo about the Kabbalah and astrology. I host lively conversation on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited in the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I have lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I am really grateful to the people who support my work there. I post on Instagram at at K.A. Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you next week.